This is something I've wanted to try for a while, and it's finally happening. Basically, what I want to do is every month have some kind of riff, lick, whatever, and have everyone who wants to participate see how fast you can get the monthly challenge. And at the end of the month, I'm thinking maybe the top 10 fastest videos will get shown on YouTube uh, shared on Instagram, things like that. So just a way to promote practice, clean, accurate practice, and getting faster. So a little bit of competition amongst everyone who does this. And because this is brand new, I will definitely be figuring out really what's going to happen as we do this more often. So the first speed challenge, I figure... Why not just use part of the guitar that was in that intro video? So, this is what you heard for one of the harmonized guitars. So, there is going to be a link in the YouTube and Facebook video descriptions. So you can get this tab. So, Guitar Pro or PDF. And if it's Instagram that you're watching this video... Just go to milehighshred.com. There's also a link in the bio to go there. And then use in the search bar, Speed Challenge 1. And you should be able to find this. So I'm thinking of using a hashtag for everyone to submit their stuff. And let's use the hashtag, milehighshredchallenge1. So for YouTube, you should be able to put that hashtag in the video description. I should be able to find it that way. And on Instagram, just put it again in your video description, possibly in the comment section, and I should be able to find it that way. So today being the first of the month, I'm thinking the 20th will be the last day to get your video up. Uh, this way I'll have enough time to find everything and start sifting through it all and see uh, you know who's got the best performance and whatnot. So again... I've said it before, but just saying it again, I uh, don't know how this is going to turn out. Never done something just like this before where I'm going to use hashtags to find things. I figure that'd be, uh, you know, you can start submitting or showing off your work before I share it. And let's talk about things you can do to work this thing up to your max speed. So in addition to having the little challenge thing here, I want to show, well, what can you do to maximize this? So, for all of you who have the ebook I put out, the Mile High Shred Metronome Method, you have the steps already in terms of where to start your metronome, how to increase the speed, how to break plateaus, things like that. If you don't have it, you can get it with no money. Just sign up for the Shred Letter. And you get also another book uh, that's meant for beginning guitar players. So, But, you know, if you're going to be participating in the Shred Challenge here, you might not be a beginner. But you don't really have to be at any skill level to do this. If you're having fun with it, great. If you are getting experience learning how to push yourself to be faster, great. So let's talk about some ways to break this down. So the main thing, like I always talk about, Always start your metronome at 60 beats per minute. And then, basically, you play through this whole thing. No mistakes at all. Once you can do that, increase it 5 beats per minute. And then you just do that again and again and again and again and again. So, breaking it down further, instead of just doing what's here, what you could do, since we have basically like 20 days, almost 3 weeks in order to work on this thing, Work on it bar to bar. And when I say bar to bar, I mean play the entire first bar plus the first note of the next bar. This way you're working on the transfer. So maybe the first couple days you're just doing this. You're here to here, here to here, and basically just doing little pauses as you play through this. 
So I'm going to demonstrate what that would sound like. And I'll do it at 60 so it's much easier to follow. So again, this is bar to bar and is one way that you can practice this to ease into it. So when doing that method of just bar to bar, you can do the entire thing that way or really simplify it and just build up that one bar plus one note all by itself. So you can work to maximize your speed on that little bit and then work to maximize your speed on that little bit and so on. You can do the same approach with two bars at a time or three bars and doing things like that can make it a lot easier to digest what's happening. So breaking things like this down into smaller pieces so you don't have to think about it as much can make it easier to go faster and faster and faster. So keep in mind, doing the smaller pieces, you will most likely be getting those much faster than the entire thing. And that's okay, totally to be expected. Now, for those of you who get really fast at this, another option is, and I highly recommend you get to at least 240 beats per minute with these triplets or faster before you start doing six notes a beat. So when you're starting out, just to really make sure you have good, clean hammer-ons and pull-offs, best, definitely think it's best, start with the triplets. So three notes a click. After a while, though, if you find that you can definitely hit 240 and beyond with the 8th note triplets, do 16th note triplets, also known as sextuplets, instead. I'm going to demonstrate this with triplets so you can make sure you understand how it's supposed to sound, and then I will do it with sextuplets. Even though this is a speed challenge, I will not be looking just for who's the fastest, but who's the most accurate. That being said, if you play this super clean at 240 beats per minute, that will definitely be more impressive, sound way better than a super sloppy 300 beats per minute. And that's one reason, one very big reason, I am a huge proponent of starting slow, making sure every note is heard well, everything is placed right where you want it, and then gradually building that up. Because your rhythm is going to be tighter and your technique will be better. While you work on this, if you want to submit things early, that's fine. If you have any questions about what to do or what you can do, let me know. And... Again, we're going to use the hashtag Mile High Shred Challenge 1. Hopefully this turns out to be a fun thing for everybody. And if anyone ever has suggestions on how to make this thing run more smoothly, make it more enjoyable, more engaging, definitely let me know. I'd like to hear your ideas because, as I've said already a few times, I'm just basically winging this whole process and learning about it as we go. So that's it. That's the first speed challenge. Good luck to all of you. Remember, 60, 65, 70, 75. Build it slow, build it slow, but also make sure that you push that speed hard. You're going to get to a point where your hands are going to want to fatigue and your brain's going to want to fatigue. That's all part of the process, and it's necessary if you want to really, really, really push those speed gains, okay? About 10 to 15 minutes is probably 
plenty of time to work on this each single day. After about 15 minutes, you're probably going to be reaching your max speed for the day on this thing anyway. So make sure you don't overdo it, but don't underdo it either.